I mean, black people's physical ability is very, very good. Many people say I'm look, I just look like a black <laughs> because my skin just likes, looks no. like a black. black. So I said American <laughs> and black. Yeah, I you know, know him. Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. Use black people to do a lot of work, just like us, like an animal. And then, and like Africa is a, is a quiet, don't have a lot of food and water. Welcome back to Bless This World and I have again Yeah, XC here XC and Eddie here This wonderful young man are back to the channel Please, if you're Thank here you. for the first time don't forget to subscribe to Bless This World and be part of the family Subscribe Subscribe Tell them in um, Korean Okay. Tell, tell them in Chinese Guanju <laughs> Guanju Guanju Subscribe and be part of the family and let's grow Grow together. Yes. As a foreigner, as a black man living in China, we receive different reactions from Chinese people. Today, I'm going to ask this young man what they think about black people around the world. What they think about black people, what they think about Africans. Okay. Let me start from you. What do you think about black people? Um, black people, I think not only me, most Koreans think about black people is I, I mean, their um, physical ability is very, very, extremely good than other Asians because um, just a few days ago, we just had an Olympic, right? So um, I've seen many, many black people had a gold medal in many um, games. So I found that uh, many black people, I mean, black people's physical ability is very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah. So you think black people um, black people's physical abilities yeah. are extremely good. Yeah. Eddie, what do, you, what do you think about black people as a Korean? Um, as a Korean, I think it's an unfortunate message. Um, the opinion for, for of the whole world people. Because of history, maybe some of many people discriminate black people. It's like a, just, they don't think they are the human and I really don't like discriminate and I, many people say I'm looks I just look like a black <laughs> many people think you you are a black person <laughs> because my skin just likes looks no. like a black people think your skin looks like a black person yeah why did they think why did they think so um I think because I really good at sports okay size and I've also have a, like a black skin your skin is black and it's black than other people maybe. oh yeah. so because you are tan your skin is tan in a way most people think you are black person yeah and i really love black people okay um first of all because of their culture like rap or dance i think it's really really good and this physical is really best of world and okay. many sports player is just black people oh. and I think it's really impressed and I will and when my mom asked a question for me if I died which country I would choose to come from renew or next life next life <laughs> so I said America <laughs> and black Isn't that's so um, surprising to hear from you um, how do you call, like in China, they call black people Hei Ren and they call Africans Fei Zhou Ren and my understanding means Hei means black, Fei Zhou means Africa, Africa. and li the literal meaning of Fei Zhou means something which is not good yeah. and they call Americans Mei Guo. How do you call black people in Korea? Um, we call black people in Korean is Hut In. Um, it's quite similar with Chinese because um, in Chinese we speak Hei Ren and we call hut in. It's, it's very similar. It has two syllables to pronunciation to this. And it's literally the same meaning uh, with Chinese and Korean. Like hut in and heron. It's the same. It's the same. How do Koreans 
receive black people? Is there any black person that is very popular in Korea? That there's one brother from Ghana, okay. and he is very popular in Korea called Sam Ochre. Oh yeah, I do you know, know him. Sam Ochre? Yeah, I'm a big fan of him. Why? Why do you like Sam Ochre? Um, he he has appeared in many many popular TV program, so I've 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 seen him many many times in TV, and I just became a his friend. Yeah. Okay. Do Do you know Sam Ochre? No. No. Uh, obviously, because you've lived in China for the past 15 years. Yeah, but I know a lot of black people, of sports players, oh. best basketball player I think is LeBron James. LeBron James. Yeah. So why, what, what do you like about Le LeBron James? What do you like, and why do you like LeBron James? Uh, LeBron James is the best player of history and whole world, best basketball player, and is also is a good father. I think because of when he was a child, he don't have father and he tried to become the best and he's really care about their family and also his company is really good and he's, he's a good re leader and he do a lot of, I think he, he have a, many jobs like just give, mo give money to help people to, ch to charity, right? To, to volunteer and I think he's a good teacher also. Okay. You you studied in in um you studied in Korea many years before coming to China. What are some of the things that you learned about black people in school in Korea? Um, to be honest, we haven't learned about black people properly. Like um, in our school, we just we just um we we don't distinguish about between black people and um white people because um they are same. I mean, they just. They're just living in the same country and one of the race, like, yeah, that's it, just one of the race, a different race, just um, different color of skin and they have some different culture between them and um, some special hairstyle also. Yeah, that's it, maybe. Um, I think in the school, people always use black people to, like, have a many good idea because of their history or their many example like in the history like people like white people use black people to do a lot of work just like us like an animal and that that example teach us we should not do that everyone have a chance everyone is it's good we should respect them and like africa is a uh, maybe is a um, quiet don't have a lot of food and w water so in in your school you guys were taught that africans doesn't have a lot of food and water i just use the example to let us to when we eat something we should think about some people cannot eat them and eat their so, food so in your school when when they were giving examples about people who are not having food and water they mostly use africans yes or no yeah yes yes okay so what do you what do you guys think about africa what do you know about africa um i just remembered like um i i just i i was told like in africa um we have to help africa because um i was told like um they are developing country and they don't have much food and water and so we have to help them a lot because many many charity like systems are open to Korean people to help them so um, in my opinion um, like like we ha have to um, collect some money and give them to they get more developed and um, have a more proper like lifestyle but but do you guys know that when we say Africa, it's not it's not a country. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, oh, it's Africa. Um, so if that's what most of you don't know that Africa is not a country. In in actual sense, Africa is fifty four made up of Africa is made up of fifty four different countries. Oh yeah. You understand? Like and Asia, Europe. Yes. Yeah, Africa. So Africa is a continent. Yeah. And Africa is made up of 54 different countries and these countries have their own languages, they have their own food, they have their own culture. The perception out there that Africa is poor, that people don't have food, people don't have water, is not entirely so. As we all know, there are rich people 
everywhere in the world and there are poor people and Africa is not an exception. We are in China, we know there are rich Chinese people and there are poor Chinese people. And I think it's the same in Korea, it's the same in Japan, it's the same in America. India, the perception out there is like Africa is poor, Africa is poor. It's not entirely so. That when you grow up with your own money, I think you should travel to Africa one day. You want to go to Africa one yeah, day? Yeah, I really want. You want to go to Africa one yeah, day? Yeah, I hope so. I think you guys have to go to Africa and see things for yourself. When you travel to Africa and you see things for yourself, you know that you appreciate where we come from as people and our history and our background. It's, it's not that bad as you guys have been told for years, you understand? Africa is made up of 54 African countries, different, different countries. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. So what do you have to say? Um... I know about Africa, about there are many countries like, like, like. You, you didn't know this before, or you knew that? I I knew that. You knew that. Yeah, Africa yeah, of Africa. course. Yeah. Okay. Um, like Nigeria, um, Ghana, and many countries, but I can't remember this right now. Okay. What do you know about Africa? Nature. Nature. Yeah. You? Um, like, like, um, in Africa, like, um. There are not very um politics like they are very clean and they are very yeah just clean I think okay I'm sorry I don't know about I, I Africa. think Africa is really good because like in Korea China there are many big buildings but in Africa their their environment is really good because. I, lo I love animals and I really hate that people in big city they just like um, in the cat or dog on the street they just give a lot of for they don't care about them but in Africa I really like I really want to travel to Africa to see that and I and maybe I really want to have a job for that to care the environment and animals okay that's good to know so this brings us to the end of our video in this life we are all learning and life is a learning process and I believe as they grow as they meet new people they will tend to learn more about different cultures see you in the next one don't forget to like this video share and subscribe tell them